Good morning, everyone. This is your favorite MS4 coordinator again, Rick Braun. And remember, only you can help us keep our storm water clean. Today, we're going to be covering some storm water facts. And it's your favorite squid coordinator today who's going to be giving you these facts. So without further ado, we're going to get into some storm water facts. Our facts that we have that we're going to be letting you know about come from the official website uh, called WHO. And for those of you that don't understand WHO, like Dr. WHO, uh, this is the World Health Organization. So they're accurate facts. Did you know that 785 million people do not have clean water, which is also storm water, I suppose, and at their homes? Also, unfortunately, and a good thing for trees, is two billion people do not have a toilet in their home, but 31% of schools do not have clean water. This is around the world now. Every minute, a newborn dies from the lack of clean water. You're gonna wonder why the water? Well, it, it's because of infections. Every dollar that's invested in cleaning the water, it, you get a return of $4 with a dollar investment cleaning the water when it's all done. Here's some ways that you can help keep the, clot, the water clean and so it's not infected, so to speak. Flush the toilets responsibly and keep them clean. You can empty the trash more often and put stuff in your trash, not down the drains. Around water bodies, lakes, creeks and stuff, leave a buffer zone of vegetation because that helps clean the water as it runs through it, rain and stuff. The buffer strip actually cleans the water. So we all have where our driveways and sidewalks get dusty and they get dirty a little bit so sweep them and keep them clean because that's a hard surface and the rain could run that stuff off. So clean your sidewalks and your driveways, keep them swept and, and somewhat dry. And an uh, interesting thing, and actually we do it here in our building right next door um, with all kinds of products, but very importantly a lot of people clean their own oil, change their own oil and stuff in their car. Take your oil, be responsible, and take your empty oil cans and stuff to places that actually recycle it. When it comes to littering, um, pick up litter, clean litter, and don't litter yourself. Just keep everything cleaner. So, these facts that the MS4 squid is telling you, we've all covered this in the past, in a way, with all of our stuff that we do. And it's up to you all, all of you, all of you, only can help keep our stormwater clean. So think of these facts and think of just the common sense things if you're out in your yard or if you're out shopping or whatever and you see some litter, it might be a little yucky I suppose, but help by picking it up, keeping it clean in your own litter especially because if everybody does their own, you won't have to pick up somebody else's. I hope that you are listening and understand our facts. These are just common facts from the World Health Organization. And they seem so simple, it would be nice to eliminate them so we all keep it clean. So thank you very much from your favorite MS4 squid and help keep our water clean and only you can help us. Thank you very much.